Hey guys, Richie here from RW Hobbies. Welcome back to part number two of the build of this guy, the F-14A, the Iranian Persian cat. So last time we did the copper tub, this time we continue with the main assembly. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're back at the F-14 Iranian one. So did pretty much did step one, as you see last time round, and we got this guy going. Looking good. Now we're gonna work on the front fuselage and get it all put in. So we do have some nice radar, some nice P parts and stuff, but I'm not gonna open those cones. I think it kind of ruins the kind of sleek look of the aircraft. I've done a few with magnets and stuff, but this time I'm gonna do it all closed up. So closed up, um, with the exception of the fuel pro because it looks like there's no way of um, closing it. I think you have to have it open. So we're going to have the fuel probe open and um, all the rest of us can be closed. So the steps were closed. So you can see here we just put the parts in and glued them shut. Um, I put the bulkhead here for the radar assembly. Again, we're not going to do the radar. We're going to put nose cone on and close it up. So that's all in. Um, and on here we did the refueling probe. Um, you've got to basically, unfortunately you've got, you've got to put it early. It kind of goes in and clips into this part and we glue it from the inside. So you have to definitely put it in before you, um, oh my light's just gone out my camera. So <laughs> we've gone dark a little bit here. So um, definitely got to put the probe in before we, um, before we get going um, and, and do the rest of it. So you have to glue it from the inside, it clips in um, like that. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, I guess I'm gonna need to charge my light because it looks like the battery's run out. <laughs> and we're gonna work through here. So we're gonna do next to the, um, I'm gonna click the parts off and we're gonna start building the um, nose gear bay and we'll get it all sandwiched together. And it um, looks like we have a nice cannon, um, which we might have open actually. Um, but we'll work our way through here and get this put together. So let me go charge my battery on my, um, my light here and let's go ahead and um, get going on the rest of this. Okay, we got it together. No real problem at all. Um, did one side first, um, and did the other side, and um, yeah, got it together. And on the bottom here, this panel, I found it's easiest just to kind of just like literally just drop it in rather than squeeze anything and just run the glue around. And it kind of went okay. I just put some more on here, it's still a little bit wet um, for that side. So if I bring the instructions into the camera here, you can kind of see that um, this side here we've got the gun cannon going on down here. Now, I probably want to paint that later. I want to paint all this first and then come back in and paint this and then put the, um, the, the cannon at the very end, I think, is the way I'm going to do it. So what I am going to do is I'm going to add this panel. Sorry, I'm off camera. This panel right here at the back, there's no purpose for that to be open. Um, there's no detail or anything. So I'm just simply going to push that in place and just glue it. Extra thin, just let the capillary just run through. Let's give it a little squeeze. Make sure I don't get any fingerprints in here. Like that. So that panel can go in because okay, again, there's nothing there's nothing behind it to show. So that can, we close that one up, close these up already. Um, get the cannon and then then we can have this maybe open. Um see how it looks. I think it might add some nice detail all the you know, if we do the old um, desert kind of camo and have this as a bay, it might just you know break it up a little bit, add some interest to the aircraft. So, could I'm not going to put a panel on the front because it looks like you have to kind of poke through the cannon and it goes around it. So I'm going to leave that one open for now, just the back one, um, and that's it. We're in good shape. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to. Um, let this dry a little bit, and then we can move on and do some um, more of the more of the main assembly. But so far, so good. As you can see, it's going together nicely. Um, not too bad at all. Um, a little bit of seam under here, but some on the side, you're not going to see it. Um, and there we go. So yeah, let me cut some more pieces away, make a little bit more progress, and I'll come right back. Okay, so putting the cannon together here, and um, I found the easiest way is this isn't glued in, but once you've glued it and kind of the pieces together like along here, oh, like along here, I just sat it in here so it sets up in the right position. Um, so it's a little bit kind of crazy to get all lined up. But so I glued the pieces together and just kind of just, you know, see here, it just comes out 
and just put it in here to set up um, in the right position. Um, same with this guy, it's loose. That guy's come out too, because we're gonna paint this and these are gonna be different colors and then they'll just sit back in here once we're done. So just that little tip. So the cannon we build, um, I'm not sure exactly yet how I'm gonna do it if we're gonna do, um, I think I'm still gonna paint the whole fuse large and paint all this at the very end. Um, we'll add these in the very last, I think. Um, so yeah, coming along nicely. So that's the um, this front end kind of done. I'm just going to carry on moving through here. And the next step is the wings. So let's go ahead and get the pieces for the wings. And we can start putting these pieces together as well. Okay, so moving along. Now on to step four, which are the wings. Um, so did this side already. No problem at all. And um, what you put instructions, what you're going to do is if you want the, the, the leading edges and the, the um, up, you have to cut these parts off along here. And um, obviously we want that because the wings can be swept back, so that you can't. You're not going to have the, um, the flaps and slats down. Are you? Um, well, you're not. If the wings are back, it's going to be um, so. Just clip them off like that, and they're going to be in the up position. Um, just noticing here, a little bit of cleanup required. And take take care of the instructions too, which parts you cut off because on the sprue it's not one side one and one the other. They're kind of mixed up a little bit the parts. So just a little bit careful. And we use my old white tip, white tip, white top cement, the um the thick resin kind of one, not the extra thin, because anything more than like an inch or a couple of centimeters, um, it just dries too quickly. Extra thin just evaporates. And this stuff is super strong. So we cut the ends off, um, and we'll just slot this in like so. If you were going to have the um, the flaps and slats down, you'd probably want to paint that red first, um, and then you know do this later on at the um, this guy right here. And just make sure it looks good on the bottom. And there we go. That's that side done too. Um, T the clear part. Obviously, not going to worry about right now because we're going to add that at the end. Um, and that's pretty much that page done. A couple of holes to remove. Um, interesting here. So on the main fuse lodge here, you got a hole to make. It says cut, remove, and removing the whole section right here, which is interesting. Um, okay, so I'll take a look at that. So I'll let these dry off a little bit, um, and then we'll continue on working through this um, and work on getting this main kind of fuse lodge put together. Okay, all kinds of stuff on the bench here going on. Let me kind of clear it off a little bit. Um, so got both wings put together, and there was a bit of a gnarly, see back here, gnarly seam line. So sat added some tamiya putty just along the line here and i'll just sand it back like i did with this one um just to fill that gnarly seam because that, obviously that shouldn't be there in real life so it's on the inside of the wing but i just want to take care of that one so that one's done no problem at all this one's just needs sanding um did that last night now the why well, i just mentioned the uh back to the instructions here the mystery of the um the cutting right here so what happens is find this one so these guys um, basically sit in like this and it just it rotates out so you gotta just trim not this side I think the sides okay just on the upper side you've got to trim and you can see there the line now it's not too bad I was thinking I'll get the sanding sticks out all that kind of stuff but just basically with a sharp blade just gonna cut it. I'm just gonna run the blade. Just basically score it. Oop. It's hard to do on camera, but like that and cut that a little bit away and then just with a sanding stick, just come back, sand it clean like I did with that one and you're good to go. When you, when you sandwich them to get together, the side I've done already. Which I'm guessing when you put a fuselage together, you gotta do some careful um, gluing. You don't wanna glue these in place if you wanna move them, pose them, which I'm not sure there's a point or not, but 
we go, that's in place. Again, it's a little tricky kind of doing this on camera. So there you go. So basically like that, and then this just pushes in and out. I pushed it way too in now, but it's fine. <laughs> but basically you get the idea. So this thing slides in and out on the front here. Um, little detail, you probably don't have to worry about cutting it and just leave it as is if you want to go that way. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So that's that problem solved. So let me continue going, clean that up, um, sand this back and keep on working through the, um, the rest of the build. All right, so I think it's a good stopping point here because we've gone through a lot of the parts here and since I last showed you simple stuff, putting together two parts for the um, horizontal stabilizers, we put the tails together, just two parts, as always, just leaving off the clear parts to the end um, so we paint it. We don't want to put the lights on right now. So yeah, so what have we done? So we've done the front end, which is over here. We've done a little bit of surgery on the main kind of fuselage here. We've done the wings and I put those few parts together we just talked about as well. So next up, we really need to get going with the engines. Um, I'm not gonna detail them. You're not, they're gonna be inside the aircraft. You're not gonna see them. So build the engines and the intakes and then we can start bolting together the whole main fuselage. So yeah, a lot of work ahead of us and um, yeah, hopefully enjoy this one. If so, I'll see you next time. Have a great week and I'll see you next week. Bye.